So, good morning, Adam. Uh, thanks for being here. I was just going to ask you a few questions about what it's like being famous and about your job and obviously about the future. So first, what's it like coming back here to Whitby after becoming famous worldwide? Um, yeah, it's great to uh, great to come back and see uh, my old teachers. Um, I had to be very nice to them because I wasn't very good in my lessons. Um, but yeah, it's always nice to come back and see some familiar faces. Uh, my question is, personally, just because I like playing cricket myself, uh, what's it like getting a century? I'm not, obviously, I've never got one, but at cricket, at village level, it can be quite good, but I can't imagine at your level. Um, yeah, um, it was obviously a dream come true. Um, my debut didn't go quite so well at Lords, but um, when I came back to Headley, my second test, um, it's obviously the ground that obviously I play out with playing for Yorkshire, so I knew the wicket. Um, and things like that. So, um, but to get it in front of my friends and family, and my wife um, as well, uh, was extra special. Obviously, playing for Yorkshire, did you feel you sort of deserved to call up to England after having such a good season? <coughs> um, I was, I was hopeful for the call up, but you just, you just never know, and. Um, I was actually away on pre-season tour when I got the phone call saying I was going to go on on tour to the West Indies for my first for my first tour away with the with the senior senior squad and um, um, Alistair Cook at the time was was doing a Q and A for one of the lads benefits uh, Richard Pyra and Tim Bresnan had a few beers behind me and the squad was getting announced that night just shouted out. He's lady in the squad. Yeah. Oh, I and was say, what's it like? I bet you had a few beers after you got the news. Yeah. Well, I was hopefully going to get get the phone call, so I was watching what I was doing on on that night. I didn't want too many beers to answer the phone call <laughs> yeah. to um, the chairman selectors, um, James Bridget at the time, and still isn't still isn't in charge. Um, so yeah, I got the phone call. I thought I was. Uh, I got up out my seat very quietly and. Just walked out, but as you could imagine, how excited I was when I saw the phone. It was James Richardson yeah. phoning me. I jumped out my seat and ran out, which was <laughs> yeah. which was quite um, quite embarrassing. And obviously, answered the phone call and said, "You you going on on tour?" And then the next thing I had to do was ring my wife and mum and dad up to tell them that I, w I was going to the West Indies. And obviously, there was a, yeah. a lot of tears down down the other end of the phone and brought me to tears. But but, um, but yeah. To go on and then play for your, for your country is an absolute dream come true, and oh, yeah. unfortunately, um, I'm not in the team right now. But I'm sure I'll, I'll be back in this back in there as soon as possible. Um, did you always know that cricket was your sport, or did you like try any other sports? Um, growing up, my first love was football. Um, my brother Ashley, um, he he inspired me t to that really, and uh, he he went on. To play for Scarborough and then got signed for Leicester, and um, unfortunately things didn't quite work out for him. But um, yeah, when I was young, growing up, my first love was was football, and I was I, I played at, um, at Scarborough and then had trials for Man City, and I could have could have signed for Man City, but I didn't want to move away from home um, at 14 and 15 to to a family in um, in Manchester. So uh, I took cricket, and thankfully it's paid off. Um, so being being selected for the Ashes, obviously the Ashes is such a prestigious and famous event across the world. You know, every kid listened to Test Match Special. What were the feelings like that opening in the Ashes? Yeah, um, to be involved in in such a special um, event, if you if you like, and and um, the f I remember the f remember walking out at, at Cardiff to sing the national anthem. Um, it, it it brought the hairs on the back of your neck stand up and. Looking over and seeing mum and dad in, in the crowd, it, proud yeah, a very, very proud moment and uh, one that I'll never, ever forget. Uh, just one last question is just uh, what's your plan for the future? Um, well, hopefully next season get a lot of runs, force me back into the test side, um, go on and play many, many games for, for England, hopefully. If not, carry on playing for Yorkshire and then after cricket. Um, not too many thoughts right now. I'm only 20. I'm only 28. Hopefully, I've got another eight, nine, ten years left um, and playing 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 cricket. Um, but uh, 
if I if I had to say now, it would probably be going going to umpiring af after uh, after cricket. Yeah. yeah. Well, best luck for the future. We hope to see you back in England team. Thanks very much. Thank you very much.